Christine, I have finally come to the conclusion that all those people that say the body needs carbs, they're exactly right. Say what? Yep, all those people that always say, you know, uh, you low carb dieters, y'all are just uh, way off the base. You know your body needs carbs, so, you know, I, I finally, I finally, today, I agree with them. Lost your mind. Yep, I agree with them. I think they're exactly right. Your body indeed does need carbs. What are you talking about? Yep, you, you need carbs, you need carbs, you need carbs. They're for energy. Uh, they, they definitely are a part of a, of a regular healthy diet. You definitely have to have carbs. I'm waiting for you to explain what you're talking about. Welcome back to Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube, episode 45. My name is Jimmy Moore. And I'm Christine Moore. And today we're going to talk about why your body needs, needs carbohydrate. I'm right. waiting for this one. Your body doesn't need dietary carbohydrate. I fooled you. Your body does need glucose, though, which is sugar, carbs, and the way you do that, listen in. You remember, Mr. Rogers always had. Always 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 today, we have the word of the day. Today's word of the day is. Pay attention now. Gluco neo genesis, otherwise known as altogether gluconeogenesis. Try saying that three times. Gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis. You try saying it three times. <laughs> <laughs> no. no way. Gluconeogenesis is a basic concept in living La Vida Low Carb that you absolutely need to know about. Now, most people watching this is probably going, why do I care what gluconeogenesis is? Well, you should care because it answers that question of how your body gets carbohydrate without you taking in carbohydrate. You know, everybody thinks, oh, you have to eat all these carbs, you know, all these dietary recommendations from the American Diabetes Association to the American Heart Association. They always say you have to take in 150 grams of carbs a day. They just messed up. Well, and, and it's true. Your body does need carbohydrate, but guess, 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 guess how you get that carbohydrate. Gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis. So let's define what that means because they're like, gluco what? Well, let's break down the word just a little bit. Gluco stands for glucose, which is sugar, sugar. carbs. Okay. Neo is new. And then Genesis is like what? Beginning. Beginning. Uh, uh, starting up. So you're looking at a new way to start carbohydrate happening in the body. Okay. So here's how it works. Your body takes in protein. Why are you smiling like a hyena? I was just thinking of that t-shirt we've got. Oh yeah, we have some t-shirts from the uh, Nutrition and Metabolism Society. And there they are. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, you can get those from nmsociety.org and you can uh, check them out. They're great. And it talks about, you know, the whole process of how gluconeogenesis works and <clears throat> it's very, very complex metabolically. But we're going to make it super simple. This is Jimmy and Christine Moore on Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube. We are not going to make it hard. Nope. So here's what it is. When you take in, and pay attention to this, when you take in dietary protein, when you eat protein, anything that has protein in it, be it meats, uh, uh, cheeses, and nuts, and anything that has protein in it, it's going to turn, pay attention now, into carbohydrate inside your body. Now, how does it do that? Want to tell them? Gluconeogenesis. No, 
but that's okay. Through gluconeogenesis, <laughs> when you eat the carbo- answer uh, is <laughs> when you eat protein, it turns into carbohydrate this way. You eat it, it goes through the body, it goes through the liver, and the liver synthesizes the protein and turns it into glucose for your body. I'm glad you knew that. And so, uh, I better know that. I'm Mr. Living Love You Low Carb, so I better know that. Because this is like the basic concept of low carb diets. If you don't understand gluconeogenesis, then you won't ever understand why low carb works. Now, you notice none of the so-called experts and the media, you never hear them talk about gluconeogenesis. They always say that dangerous, bad diet. You know your body needs carbs and that no carb diet isn't giving you any carbs. Wrong. Next time you see that or you hear somebody talk about that, just raise your hand and say, um, excuse me, um, gluconeogenesis says that when you eat protein through the liver, it converts it to carbohydrate. So how can you say that you don't get carbs on a no carb or low carb diet. It's just not true. And so one of the things that I'm looking at with gluconeogenesis and protein is it's possible, possible, if you eat too much protein, then you could stall your weight. Hmm. How would you do that? Well, when you have the gluconeogenesis happen with the protein being synthesized into carbohydrate in the body, that carbohydrate, the glucose, makes an insulin response happen. And when you have the presence of insulin, you cannot lose weight. Not in high amounts, anyway, the insulin. And so, if you're struggling with your weight, not coming off as fast as you'd like it to, there's a lot of uh, science that shows protein is good for satiety, which is controlling hunger. But satiety isn't everything. You definitely want to have satiety. True, you don't want to be hungry. But you need to balance the right amount of carb- or, uh, protein, which you will get carbohydrate from, but you need to add enough fat to your diet. And maybe that's where some people are making a mistake. They're not adding enough fat. They're eating too much protein. And of course, even if you're not eating very much carbohydrate, you can still get too many carbs by eating too much protein. And I think that's just a concept I wanted to get out on YouTube because a lot of people don't understand. You get carbohydrate from the protein that you eat. You do. You know, and gluconeogenesis is how you do it. In fact, I'm gonna like flash it on the screen. Gluconeogenesis, 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 good boy. I don't know him. I'll just let you continue looking like a fool. Married this fool. <laughs> I'm glad I did. So hopefully today you learned not just a new word because the new word is cool. Gluconeogenesis is kind of fun to say, but hopefully you understand that this concept is how your body gets carbs. So if somebody eats a no carb diet, like I, I have several friends, my uh, moderator on my forum, uh, liveinlowcarbdiscussion.com is the forum. Uh, Charles there, he eats a zero carb diet. So some might say, oh my gosh, uh, he's got to have the carbs and it's just, it's killing him that he's not going to have carbs. How does he have energy? You know how he has energy? He eats enough protein. Yes, he eats a lot of fat too, but he eats enough protein from the meats that he eats that his body is getting all the carbs he needs. And the other neat thing about Charles, he runs in half marathons. Half marathons. That's pretty on amazing. No carbs. And so you know his body is getting all the carbs it needs because of gluconeogenesis through the protein he's eating. So that's all the time we have for Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube, episode 45. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope you come back next time as we gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis. We'll move on to another topic, but we'll tell you something about the healthy, low-carb lifestyle. So thanks so much for watching. Bye. See ya! And today, we have the word of the day.
Today's word of the day is...